Uh, Agent Baresi, I wondered when I'd hear from you again. I want to know how Don Levy's death went down, McCall. Whose death? July 8th, Panorama. Don Levy was FBI at one time and a good friend of Patrick Stone. We know you were there. Witnesses described it to a T. Was Gamera there too? What are you looking for, Baresi? The truth, of course. So, was he? Don Levy was murdered by Alvarez. He shot him from the crowd. With a sniper rifle? How did he carry it onto the dance floor without causing a riot? Excuse me? Don Levy was shot with a sniper rifle. 50 caliber. Not a pistol. Are you shitting me, motherfucker? So this internal affairs agent has such a fucking hard-on for Eddie, he's willing to forget that the three-man unit he's a part of has a sniper in it. He automatically assumes that it was Eddie. Take what you need, let's get some sleep. Mm, I'm tired. I'm still pretty wired. Well, how about I give you a relaxing little back rub, huh? I got magic fingers, baby girl. Then how about you make yourself disappear? You change your mind, you know where to find me. Uh, don't hold your breath. Grab what you need. Come on, we all need to get some rest. What, whenever I hear someone say tired but wired, all I can think back on is that one shitty shark movie where the girl is like saying, oh, I'm exhausted, and the guy says, you know, me too, but I'm still pretty wired. How about I uh, take you home and eat your pussy? I am motherfucking beat. Too bad, because you're taking first watch, Gara. All right, man, but I'm telling you, I need my beauty sleep. So, uh, we are back to playing as Ben, and we're gonna get in this room over here. Uh, the only difference between characters in this level is that Kim starts off in a different room, but eventually makes her way back to the group. And, oh, hey there, Eddie. Uh, what are you doing in this room? There's only one bed. Where did... Ben! Th ben, wake up! Oh. <clears throat> what? <laughs> I'm already up, Eddie. Are you asshole still alive in there? Evans. Evans, wake up. Come out with your weapons. You got 20 seconds or we tear this place apart. Hey, we got Jesus in here, assholes. You want to kill him? Yeah, we got someone who's been watching you for a while, eh? So we know you're full of shit. Well, shit. Ben, Gara. You still breathing? Can you get them? Not all of them. 15 seconds, Essay. Give me a fucking break, Essay. Ooh, those are not the magic words, Ben. Lie down! Flat! What's going on here? <laughs> get him off of us! Evans! I love how when Ben says, get down flat, neither he nor Eddie lies down and gets down flat. Time for an old-fashioned beatdown. And I have no idea what triggers that line, the melee attack line, because nothing's fucking happening here. Anyway, I should mention that this is one of my favorite levels in the game, because it's short, simple, and sweet. Jesus Christ! What do they have out there, man? Evans! The set pieces, such as this one, are admittedly pretty tame for this genre of game. And even though we're about to get crushed to death with a wrecking the ball, there's uh, enough time to steal a wallet. We'll meet you at the rear of the building. One problem. I'm kind of pinned down here. Shit. Hold on. We're coming for you. So yeah, uh, even though the set pieces in this level are, like I said, pretty tame uh, for a game of this genre compared to the likes of Call of Duty, I don't know. Like, for this game, like, they're pretty okay. There's even a driving sequence in this level that's actually alright. So, I mean, this is like the point where I want to say the game starts to turn around and starts to make good on some of the promises and starts to be like an actual game. I mean, but it's still bought down by lousy shooting mechanics, obviously, and just unlikable characters, but this is the point where it stops being such a completely irredeemable piece of shit and evolves into just a piece of shit. So, take, take that as a ringing endorsement of this game. We gotta get to Jesus. Let's go. Wait, what, what, what was that voice? Was that was that a Spanish lady dubbing in for Kim? They, they didn't have any other clips of Kim saying "all right," and they had to dub that one in afterwards with a completely different voice actress. They're already here. 
We gotta get to Jesus before they do. Watch out for the civilians! Out of the way, out of the way! Police, get down! Stay inside, people! So yes, there are civvies to consider here that you don't want to get killed Police, in the crossfire. Ben, Kim, and Eddie tossing around their rank. Why bother? Like, do these gang members clearly don't care what branch of government you belong to. They're still gonna keep shooting at you. And yes, there's uh, still plenty of time to steal wallets from... This, the rooms of innocent civilians, because, because I mean, why not? I mean, usually when you're going to gang houses, like, I can understand stealing wallets from them, because fuck them, you just killed them. These are, like, from civvies. People who just have the misfortune of staying at this motel at this moment in time. You know, you don't have to do this all by yourself. If we weren't watching... Great, now I gotta get both of them how bad I am. Despite the fact that they don't do anything. Aren't are you, isn't it great? Aren't those voice clips great? How they just reuse those same lines over and over again? The AI partners, that is. Doesn't get old. Still hasn't gotten old. Uh, ten episodes in, right? So yes, uh, we had. So at this motel, there's this part of this motel. I guess is still under construction. Is the scene that has been set for us. Quick. And instead of, you know, getting a hotel room or a motel room for Jesus, we, uh, we just put him somewhere in the construction. Move it, move it. Let's go. Move. I don't know whether that's a good or bad idea, I can't honestly say. I'm sort of divided on it. I think that was the last one. Really, I guess it was just an excuse to have that wrecking ball sequence from earlier. Hello. Don't fuck with you, check it. So the AI has not improved at all, but uh, at this point in the game, the game does start to get slightly harder. They toss more enemies at you, and they, they're using better weapons. These sequences are still super easy though, Just, and it is possible to totally break them by killing the dudes who can kill you from a distance. Another one of these parts, huh? It, it's easier just to shoot that shit. And eh, nothing up here, so... Unless I really want an AK or an FAL, which I don't, so... Having a hard time with those steps, Eddie? Whoa, that's not even possible what you're doing right now! <laughs> yeah, just, just hop off, son. Hop off. And, uh, you wait I'm a lone signal. wolf. I'll pick the one that only I can stand next to. Go! FBI, Luckily, there happens to be, like, a sh just a shit ton of, like, hazardous exploding material around here. <laughs> <laughs> It was like ballet, the way he flew through the air. Didn't think they'd ever stop fucking coming. Okay, I think we got one more breach sequence left before this part of the level is done. Are if memory right, serves. I have to call my father. Alvarez is a pinche traitor. Don't worry. That pendejo will pay. There's a car waiting outside. Go. We'll stay and finish this. Emilio, you go with Jesus, okay? No! I wanna do these motherfuckers myself! Oh. Get in position. You get shot and your father will kill me, mijo. Now get out of here. Go. Paco, watch the door. Get ready now. Gee, I hope he only takes a few milliseconds to get ready, otherwise... Yeah, they're fucked. Careful not to shoot Jesus. But how does Jesus know that Alvarez is a traitor, unless... Ahead. Looks like you've got her. There's a car waiting for you, Jesus. Puta! Come on, let's go for a ride. Unless we discussed Alvarez directly in front of Jesus, which would be fucking a terrible idea. How does Jesus know that Alvarez is a traitor? Get Think about in. it. Go! 
So when we hear the driving sequence, I don't actually mind, because it's sort of like cramped corridors, you're driving through objects, it's not just another freeway chase. Which makes it better than all the other driving sequences in the game. And you get to run people over, which is always satisfying. Through the gate! Fuck, it's shut! So what? Shit! That audio is a bit delayed, if you ask me. And this is unnecessary. So that was kind of cool, right? And now we're back on the road. Because cause that was too hard to program all that shit from before. You can't keep up for too long. It's much easier to program these cars on the road already. And just repeat the same road texture for however many miles. And I mean, look at all these cars that are coming from like both lanes, right? I mean, like this looks like regular traffic except for the fact that we're driving on it now. But look at it! The entire road is closed off! I mean, the, there's a block, major block, right on that road! So how are cars coming from that direction unless they were all making a U-turn? In which case, why don't we run any like road signs to like mark off construction or whatever? Or mark off an accident? Why haven't police arrived on the scene yet? How was that able to... How is there no prior indication that there was a giant tanker blocking in both lanes of traffic? Whatever, I'm thinking about this too much. Is there a way out of this? Fuck it. This Think about what happens here instead. And too late. Did a meteor just come down? What is that? I guess it was an RPG, but it is. <laughs> it was just a glowing ball of light that suddenly impacted and exploded. It's okay though, we're all okay. We're fine. We're all fine. Stop. No, no problems here. No injuries to report. And this part's kind of a chore, but Go after him, goddammit! Like I said, you know, this is like this a it's a, it's a decent little level. Short enough. This is probably gonna be one of the shortest episodes in the whole LP. But, uh. You know. Had a few decent set pieces. Still not over yet, though, but. Man, I just came out of nowhere. I, I, I had, like, full health, next thing you know, I was dead. That's, that didn't seem entirely fair. Oh, well, play it safe for this time by blowing up their cars while they're taking cover behind them. Also forgetting the iron sight. After him. Where is he? He's cleaning house. I think that was the last one. Oh, really? You think that's the last one? Then explain these half dozen guys still up ahead of us, Eddie. Maybe take off your sunglasses. You'll see a bit better. You're not getting away, you hear me! Stop! And luckily, they give you 30 seconds. You try that again. Because this is like the world's longest train passing by. Get him the hell out! So yeah, he'll never make it past the tracks there. He'll always just stand in front of the train. Which is convenient. And that's that's the end of the level. Probably not the most exciting commentary. Like I said, one of the shorter episodes. But, you know, it's... Why couldn't they have all been like this? Just, like, small set pieces. I'm not asking for, like, helicopter explosions and nuclear bombs every episode. Just something like this, you know? Something... You should come back next episode, though, because uh, some story shit goes down. Look forward to that, I guess.